down on your sausage. You have 20 seconds to subscribe. It's round five, the finale of this uh, a bit of a weird journey I've made for myself where I'm ranking my Batman 1989 figures from the worst to the best. With help from Sumo John, I have selected the six figures, ranking them from worst to best, and then settling on who the winner's going to be. That's basically it. So we will go through what we've had so far. So in sixth place, we had the fake Necker Batman, who is absolutely terrible, and obviously a fake a bootleg. And uh, yeah, so by default is uh, in sixth place, but even if it wasn't a fake figure, it still is a terrible one. In fifth place from Beast Kingdom, the Mighty Keaton Batman figure 89. So this probably shouldn't be in fifth place, but this thing is so badly made that um, yes, I feel that it deserves fifth place personally. So that means in fourth place was from McFarlane Toys, the Batman 1989 figure recently released. So to be fair, if the Beast Kingdom one was a bit better, wasn't so broken, then yeah, it would have been the other way around. Um, but no, he's sitting there in a comfortable fourth position. In third, we do have the massively mighty Keaton Batman by NECA. The real deal. Yes, despite his wobbly legs and his uh, knees that are slowly but surely failing on him, I think it's worthy of a third place position. And finally, here we are at the finale, where we have small Mezco versus the other Mezco figure. Who will be the winner? Let's find out. So coming in, in the right hand corner, we do have the small but mighty Keaton Batman by Mezco. And from the left corner, it is the other Mezco Batman. There we are. So this is the 112 collective uh, version of the Mighty Keaton Batman. But is it enough to uh, keep the small but mighty Keaton Batman in second place? As always, we have Sumo John to uh, referee for us. Make sure things are kept fair. But here we go. Mezco v Mezco. Who will be the winner? Round five, the final fight. As this is the finale, I will go through uh, the small but mighty Keaton figure again and what I like about it. Obviously, as I said, the last one is a very small, sort of cutesy style Batman, uh, but that doesn't bother me at all because the work that's gone into this is quite astonishing. So much detail, obviously the face being sort of the most detailed part there. We do have the moving eyes. And of course, just the sculpt in general is very, very good. Uh, he does come with some accessories, a grapnel launcher and a battering. But overall, I do really, really like this figure. The cave's a bit on the thin side, but uh, I think it works perfectly well with something that's designed in such a way like this one. But what about the Mezco? So again, like before, I did review this fairly recently and uh, initially I did have some problems with this. Firstly, when I uh, got him out of the box, uh, he had a magnet missing from uh, the bottom of his head, so I couldn't get his head to snap on like that. So I had to glue that back in place when I eventually found it. Second one is, well, I think that's the same problem for everybody, but getting this cape on is a real problem. It's not the easiest of things to do, but it's on. I have no intention of taking it off again. But probably the third one, and the most important one is, uh, he does have a broken arm, just like the Beast Kingdom Batman. You probably see there, it's very, very loose. Somehow I did manage to snap it, uh, just sort of around the bicep area. But his arm, I can still move it around, I just have to be extra, extra careful. The head sculpt is very impressive. It is a, a very, very good likeness for the uh, Mighty Keats and Batman. This does come with three heads, this one being my favourite one. Uh, but one of the heads, uh, he does have the uh, classic uh, cross-eyed look there, so um, yeah. It does lose some points for that. The emblem is of very good design. There is, uh, well, I can't spot any sort of painting issues on there. 
and the sculpting as well on the body is uh, very very good of course the only real problems I have with this is just the design of the figure because it's uh, a skeleton with this uh, you know rubbery latex uh, over the top uh, it is very difficult to uh, you know get this thing into position because you can't see the joints moving so if you're a little bit heavy-handed like myself uh, you know you do run the risk of you know snapping certain bits of the figure which isn't good as this isn't a, uh, a particularly cheap figure either I quite like the cape uh, it's got the wires in and not just in the front but around the other areas as well and this does come with a lot of accessories some of which do attach onto his belt via a magnet which I really really like so costing wise there is a big difference. Uh, Small but mighty key to Batman was around about forty-five pounds, whereas the uh, the Mezco here, the other Mezco, was around about one hundred and sixty pounds. But they are both excellent quality figures, and I probably like them both equally. But there can only be a one a winner, and that winner is the one twelve Batman. There he is. Let's pop him back on his stand. Yep, he was always going to be my winner at the end of the day. It's the uh, it's the best quality of all the figures. It's in proportion, and it does come with a lot of excellent accessories. Now I would get uh, Sumo John to uh, raise his hand in celebration, but um, I fear that I might break his other arm off if I do that. So I'm not going to bother. But that is it for this. Just for a bit of fun, while I'm rearranging the retro room. Who is the best of the Mighty Keaton figures out of these six I've just shown you? What do you reckon? Do you think I was fair in my decision making? Would you swap things around? Are you pleased that the Mezco Batman won? Why not let me know in the comments? That is it from me and the Retro Room. I hope you enjoyed this little short run of little videos and I'll be back very soon with some more. But until the next time, I'll see you later. It's Matt in the retro room. Join Matt in the retro room. Watch Matt in his retro room. Subscribe for more and stay tuned.